What's up, y'all? HTG Brian here, back with some more LEGO Batman. This is level 23, harboring a grudge story. No achievements found in this video. We're going to skip over the mini kits and that red brick. However, look at this. It is a vehicle level, which usually has a rather low stud requirement. And in this case, we actually get that check mark. So uh, this is the second one so far out of 23 that we've got. So not a lot, but a couple of them added to the list. But here we are in Arkham. We're going to go ahead and make our way all the way over to the mission select room. And the reason, again, we do this is because every time we finish a level, we turn the system off. When we boot the system back up, it dumps us into the Bat Cave, and we have to run all the way over, flip the switch to go to the Arkham Asylum. And then now, of course, we run to the room and collect all the studs, because you know us. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. But anyways, hop into the Power Crazed Penguin Submarine, and let's choose level three, harboring a grudge. And of of course, story is the only one that's available at this time, so let's jump into that, which will give us a quick background check, followed by a cutscene. So, ooh, the bird and the croc together at last. Ah, I'll let you read it. <laughs> How are you? That's a pretty wicked jet ski, if I do say so myself there, Croc. Anyways, uh, in this area, as soon as we spawn, if we toggle over to the Penguin Submarine, there's actually a bomb dispenser. You can find that in the purple box. If you get up close to it, it'll actually slowly deploy a couple of little penguin bombs. You can hold three in tow at a time, and right now you only need one. Simply uh, get at least one of them attached to your sub and make your way towards the right side where you'll see that purple arrow and uh, go ahead and hit the old B button to go ahead and release that. Now we've got some more stuff over here. We're going to advise that you take it slow, take out all the ships at first, and then go ahead and get close enough that you'll target this other silver cannon, let loose another penguin, bomb, 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 then make your way through the newly found area. Now keep in mind too, if you get caught up in that spotlight, it is going to shoot a rocket at you. And to be honest with you, that plays a huge part later, but we'll get to that in a minute. Go ahead and tap the old X button. Psych, it's A, it's X box, Brian. <laughs> That's right, sometimes I forget that. But yeah, tap the A button, it should make you go underwater. Tap it again to come back up. You can go ahead and press that button in the back left corner, which should open the door and allow us to get in there with that jet ski. Make sure both of those buttons have been tapped green. That should give us access to this bomb, 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 bomb dispenser. We can go ahead and grab three of those and start making our way. But first, we got to take out a few bad guys, some foes trying to say no. So that's right, we're advancing here and they don't want us to, so they're trying to slow us down. But what we need to do is take out the two big barrels full of toxic sludge. Once we take those out, they plummet to the doom of the barrels and we should be able to sneak through here. However, it doesn't work as fast as you might think. There's still a lot of soot in the water. So we've got to slowly wait, make our way through there. And of course, once we get to this new side, we can use our buddy in the jet ski to get through that sludge, but that's not what we need to do. We gotta take out two more toxic barrels, and in order to do that, we're gonna backtrack and actually load up with some more pangan bombs. Thank you very much. All right, we'll turn it around, and of course, all the way at the end, it should be free and clear, but they may send some more baddies, and that's all right. You just got it already. And we did, we took them both down and took both of those barrels down as well. Super sweet. Now it should be free and clear. However, watch this. It's not. I take my time. I take my time. I take my time. And I still die. So make sure it's all the way gone before you advance. Otherwise, you might find yourself uh, with, with a higher death counter than myself. All right. There should be two silver cannons over here. You do got to get up close and personal, though, for them to pop up. Luckily for me, I still had two bombs in tow. And what do you know? They're both gone. <laughs> 
All right, this next area should be available to us, and it's sort of tricky. I found that you almost need to tap that red button green, but only when there isn't a spotlight on it. I, I don't know if that's true or not. I, in my preliminary run where I was doing my scouting, I had a heck of a time getting this button from red to green. However, I got it first try while I was doing the recording. So not 100% sure, but I, I did sort of seem like it, it seemed like I needed to be not in the spotlight, which may or may not be the case. Either way, make them both go from red to green and it should open up a whole new little bay or harbor area. Take out the two big battleships protecting those three silver cannons. And then make your way all the way back to the bomb dispenser and pick up a couple of bombs. Now there are three of them, so we might need to make an extra trip. Because these little tiny boats like to get in our way and absorb some of the impact. And of course, you anytime you have the red or orange arrows around you, that means you've been targeted and likely have a missile chasing you. However, the heat seekers aren't that heat seeking, so we do dodge a bullet, or in this case, a missile. <laughs> and, uh, all right. Once you get all three of those silver turrets down, it'll actually open up the gate and take us into the boss battle. That's right, we've got the police watercraft. And again, more battleships trying to slow us down, but we'll take them out first. And what we need to do is make our way towards the backside of the ship and take out a few things and in that back left corner there as we ring off the super villain stud requirement we gotta go and switch to the croc in the old jet ski to make our way into that green sludge flip the button which should open up a bomb dispenser for the penguin sub we can go ahead and line up three of those and start our journey now unfortunately we get attacked by some unsuspecting watercraft but luckily i dodged all of them with my three shots so I've taken out all three sides, the front, left, and the right. I didn't do it in that order. I went right, front, left, if we're being specific. But I uh, definitely recommend uh, loading up again. And you got to take out some sort of red flashing or gold areas with some yellow highlights. And it's all about the angle I found. Because, again, these little guys are trying to stop us on their little watercrafts. And uh, depending on how you shoot your bomb here, it may not go directly at the spot. Now, in that case, it did. I found that if you're facing it, sort of coasting towards it in the front, that's the best angle to take it out. In my scouting run, I actually missed quite a few. So uh, maybe it was just bad aim. Could be. But, uh, and this was a funny thing, too. In my scouting run, as soon as I got into this spotlight, it immediately shot a missile at me. And all I had to do was drag it towards the big hovercraft here. But unfortunately, I couldn't get this back one to work. And I, I actually, I think I die a couple of times just sitting here trying to get it to... to and, and I was starting to get frustrated. I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to do this all over again. I thought, well, maybe I got the wrong crap. So I switched. Not the case. I ran into some weird oddity glitch where I wasn't able to do it. But good news, there are two more spots. Now, I started thinking, well, wait a minute. Maybe I got to take some stuff out on the side. Now, you, as you see... There's quite a bit of stuff on top of the hovercraft that I can shoot and blow up. Now, it almost looks like guns or something, and it might be, but I couldn't take out that front one to save my life. And look, I'm not so I'm not taking out the guns. It's just side pieces. It's doing damage or representing damage. And so I get a little creative here, and I'm like, wait a minute. All right, so there's a spotlight on the left, a spotlight on the right, and one in the back. I wonder if one of these front ones will work. But before I tried that, I went back one more time thinking, okay, maybe I took out all the stuff on the ship that needed to be shot. So, you know, this was not 100% clear to me, but I will recommend that instead of spending a bunch of time like me, spinning circles, trying to shoot a bunch of stuff on the hovercraft, I would just go to one of the front left or front right spotlights, and it should launch a missile, and all you have to do is go toward it. I mean, look, I'm trying everything. I'm going underwater, I'm going above water, trying both crafts. Shooting all the stuff off the top, but then I finally am like, all right, let's go to the front left side. Let's get this guy. And as soon as I touch the spotlight, it launches a couple of missiles. I just simply drive over by the boat, and look at that. Booyah, ka, shao. Cutscene.
right, all right, all right. Another level c -c 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 complete. Free play unlock. Lock, lock, lock. That's right. We are officially able to go back. We won't, though. We're going to wait until we finish up the story. We do unlock Killer Crocs Swamp Rider, a.k.a. the Jet Ski, and Penguin's Submarine. So not quite to the halfway point, but one more vehicle, and we'll be halfway to all of those. So that's pretty fun. Uh, story, well, we actually hit that super villain status, and that's going to give us a villain super kit. Now, it says 2 of 15. That's because we did get one other stud requirement, and uh, hopefully you guys did as well. We try to avoid those and get those all in the free play, but sometimes they're just so low, there's just nothing you can do. So and that's basically what happened here. Uh, overall, we got over a million. Feeling good about that. But that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for level 23, Harboring a Grudge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to click that like button down below. If you have not already, please check us out at happythumbsgaming.com. we got social media out there popping as well. Other happy thumb gamers like yourself contributing. So come hang out. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time, sign up.